We all know that the most hyped starship from the space industry is none other than our SpaceX. We previously talked about the design and the layout of the starships. Let us talk about performance today. All those who are new to our channel, we warmly welcome you. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming updates in the world of space. Over the past year, SpaceX has undertaken several brief test flights of Starship prototypes, but reaching orbit is the next step in testing the rocket. In May, the business disclosed its plans for the first orbital trip, which would take off from the company's Texas facility and land off the coast of Hawaii. Before we proceed, let us quickly summarize the background for our new audience. SpaceX's Starship program features the world's tallest and most powerful rocket, which will eventually transport humans and cargo to Mars. The most recent prototype, SN20, is awaiting launch into orbit. Several more prototypes have flown, ground tested, and even made testing mistakes in an effort to better future flights. Elon Musk founded SpaceX in 2002 after selling two previous enterprises, Zip2 and online payment company PayPal. His long-term ambition was to establish a Mars settlement company. Having said that, SpaceX has been keeping active in other areas of space. The business designed and produced Dragon cargo ships and Crew Dragon manned spaceships for the International Space Station, as well as launched satellites for a variety of clients. In terms of Mars, Musk reveals new far-future Mars concepts for deploying crews, cargo, and rockets on a regular basis. In 2018, Musk renamed his Mars colonizing spaceship system Starship. Technically two parts, Starship is the spaceship upper stage, and Super Heavy is the rocket booster required to escape Earth's deep gravity well, not required for other planets or moons. Musk had planned to build Starship out of carbon fiber, but in January 2019, he stated that the vehicle would be built out of stainless steel instead, according to Space.com. While stainless steel is heavier than carbon fiber, this initially increases the amount of fuel required for launch, as well as the accompanying cost. Musk stated that stainless steel has better thermal characteristics for spaceflight, which would lower the cost. Since 2019, Starship has experienced a few more design revisions. Musk chose to install six Raptor engines rather than seven on the Starship vehicle. According to Space.com, Musk disclosed an unexpected design tweak on Starship in 2021 after viewing Sacha Baron Cohen's 2012 film The Dictator, which prompted him to make the vehicle pointier, round, is not a frightening shape. Pointy is scary, Cohen's fictional dictator, Admiral General Aladdin said, of a missile designed by his engineers. Now let us talk about different evaluations for the Starships. SpaceX aims to implement a variant of their Starship dual-purpose launch vehicle, which is currently under production, to avoid any misconceptions regarding SpaceX's critical product. Starting with Starhopper testing, the Starhopper was a low-altitude Starship system prototype that resembled a flying tank rather than an aerodynamic rocket. In 2019, SpaceX conducted two static fire tests of the system at its Boca Chico, Texas facility to evaluate the engine's performance, followed by four brief test flights the same year. The Starship's first connected flight was one foot that lasted three seconds. Starhopper just took off and reached tether boundaries. Musk announced the first static fire test on April 6, 2019, via a stunning blazing video. The stubby vehicle flew four times in total, two with a tether for safety and two fully untethered. On the prototype's first free flight on July 25, 2019, it climbed to an intended altitude of 65 feet. Its final flight before retiring on August 27, 2019, was expected to reach 500 feet in accordance with a limit imposed by the United States Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA. Before trying flight, the Starship program tested many ground prototypes. Mark 1 destroyed during a tank pressure test. Mach 2, Mach 3, SN1, destroyed during a pressurization test. SN2, pressure tested successfully. SN3 and SN4 were among the significant prototypes destroyed between 2019 and 2020. The SN5 and SN6 prototypes of Starship flew low altitude test hops, 
On August 4, 2020, SN5 reached an altitude of around 500 feet and traveled sideways in the sky to its landing place. On September 3, 2020, SN6 flew 500 feet. Turns out you can make anything fly, lol, Musk said of the SN6 flight, which included a video of a tank-like structure wobbling through the air. SpaceX intentionally destroyed SN7 during a ground test in order to collect data for future missions. During the program's first high-altitude launch, SN8, which roared to the skies on December 23, 2020, performed sophisticated flying maneuvers and flips. According to a video filmed from the landing pad, it flew to 7.8 miles but failed to make the landing, exploding in a flame on the ground due to the lower than expected pressure in the fuel tank header. After each flight, Musk tweeted about what went wrong and what changes he planned to make to the Starship prototypes to enhance the operation for the next try. After the SN11 touchdown explosion, Musk tweeted, Looks like engine 2 had troubles on ascent and didn't reach operating chamber pressure during landing burn, although in theory it wasn't needed. On the 60th anniversary of the United States' first ever crewed voyage, astronaut Alan Shepard launched into space aboard NASA's Mercury capsule. SpaceX's Starship SN15 prototype landed. On May 5, 2021, SN15 ascended 6.2 miles into the sky and performed a series of maneuvers in mid-air. The prototype landed safely on a concrete landing pad at Boca Chica six minutes after takeoff. This was the Starship program's most recent flight as of August 2021. SpaceX personnel stated in a flight description that the latest prototype included many vehicle upgrades. The FAA has conducted an environmental study of the Starship mission, postponing SpaceX's intentions to perform the launch in July 2021. Even after the examination is completed, there may be further certifications to consider. Depending on the conclusion of the study, SpaceX may be subjected to a more thorough evaluation, resulting in an upgraded environmental impact statement. Although, only when that process is completed with the Federal Aviation Administration, will the Federal Aviation Administration be able to consider approving an orbital Starship launch. In June 2021, CNN Business reported, from all of these assessments, conclusions can be made for the performance of the SpaceX Starships. So guys, that was all about the performance. We hope you find this informative. That was it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.